Now he's gonna draw more people off, right? Yep. Got a shielded enemy. And I will pull you to get you out of here. Impact. And now we shall strip this guy's shields. <laughs> Nobody kills my people. Oh! Good job. Alright, let's see. I might be able to finish this off just with the gun. My shields are down. Yeah, I know your shields are down, but so is the ship. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh no, Garrus! We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure oh, they're no. ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Of course he'll make it, Zaid. Don't be a pessimist. He's Garrus. He always makes it. Okay, we leveled up. Mission summary. Instructed Archangel from Mercenary Siege and recruited him for the team. Unclear whether entry to Archangel will impair his ability to assist in the mission. Regardless, re revelation of identity as Garrus Vicarian, useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Vindicator Battle Rifle. A battle rifle favored by assassins and elite mercenaries that fires in high accurate or highly accurate five round bursts and can be pulsed for rapid fire. Deadly at any range and effective against armor shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades to upgrades the Avenger assault rifle. Manufactured by Alanis Risk Control Services for the Blue Suns Mercenary Group, the Vindicator is quickly gaining popularity in the Terminus systems. Submachine gun damage. Use the research computer in the Normandy's lab to build this upgrade. Weapons upgrade. Squad bonus plus 10%. Machine submachine gun damage. Updates the submachine guns of your entire squad. This upgrade improves a weapon's mass effect field generator, increasing the velocity of each slug fired. Tech damage. Use the research computer in the Normandy's lab to build this upgrade. Omni tool upgrade. Squad bonus plus 10% tech power damage. Stamina Omni tools are calibrated with a wide neural input tolerance range, so they can be used effectively at any race or by any race. By tuning the inputs of the Omni tool to match the specific neural patterns of the user, responsiveness and power can be greatly increased. Once tuned in this matter, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer and must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts. That sounds like a pain in the butt. All right, we found 40,000 credits total. Element 0500. Close report. Good. We are successful. We have defeated everybody. <laughs> Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. Um, quite obviously. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... But what? Shepard. <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. <laughs> Shepard, that's a really derpy smile. Up. How bad is it? No worse than usual, buddy. It's going to show. <laughs> Let's say this. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. <laughs> Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. <sighs> Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. <laughs> Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Yes, I do, and I'm I'm not with them. You've got my back. We don't have to trust them. Cerberus is right this time. Yeah, you're here. We're buddies again. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. 
Just like old times. Mm -hmm. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Yay! We are successful. Let's go to the tech lab and get some of these things. Okay, we can get some machine gun damage. We'll do that. Uh, nothing more there. Armor upgrades, tech damage. I don't really have many tech people on my team right now, but I'm assuming that'll change eventually. Right, we don't want advanced training. Alright, cool. That's good. We can go talk to Kelly. That's exciting, right? Hi, Kelly. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. I worry about him. Garrus is tough. Yeah, Garrus is tough. <laughs> He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, It will be alright. <laughs> wow, okay. You do that. I could use that. You are into aliens. Leave him alone. I feel the same way. He'll be fine. He'll be fine, Kelly. Garrus doesn't need anyone to hold him. <laughs> True. Help you, Commander. Why did you magically turn back around? You weirdo. Goodbye. I'll be, all. I'll be here if you need anything. That's good, thanks. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Okay, fine. I don't care. We'll deal with that later. Uh, Alright, let's go. Uh, ooh, we need to go to the elevator. I want to go chat with Garrus. Let's see how he's doing down there. Oh, and I want to check messages. Let's check messages. Server's command request from server's command. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. In Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Lorak, a nearby planet in the Fothar system. Scan uh, the planet for a base where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. Extract the operative. If the operative is beyond rescue, recover any relevant intel that Eclipse may have collect collected. This is a very delicate matter, Shepard. We trust in your discretion. Alright, I'll deal with that later. Glad I didn't sign up from John Whitson. Hey, Arya gave me this address. I think I met you at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining up with those mechs who were trying to take out Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the new vids news vids and saw that almost all of those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are or if you got out of there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me. John Whitson. How sweet. See, it helps when you destroy people's guns, apparently. <laughs> uh, let's go to... yeah, here. Cruise quarters. Let's go have a chat with Garrus. Garrus! Why is this loading screen so long? I do not understand it. Go forth! Bring me my Normandy. There we go. Alright, so we're going back here. If I can navigate my way or through the walls. <laughs> Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. No, oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Do 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 Shepard, what are you even looking at? Stop it. Hello, Garrus. Shepard. Need me for something? Uh, Normandy upgrades. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay. Uh, ship enhancements. Oh, cool. Uh, Normandy weapons upgrade. The Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydronamic cannon. That's a mouthful. <laughs> is now installed on the Normandy. This cannon is powerful enough to destroy a collector ship with repeated hits. That sounds useful. Let's get it. Hi. Shepard. Need me for something? Got any more? Any upgrade <laughs> ideas for no. the Normandy's weapon systems? 
My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Alright, thanks. Uh, Normandy weapons. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Okay, cool. Uh, Cerberus crew. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Well, that's good. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Hooray. Uh, just want to talk. Have you sure. done it? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. <laughs> I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades. <laughs> Shepard, what are you leaning on? I wish we joined up with them sooner. Uh, you we're not with them. You're okay with this? Glad you're here. You're happy here. Yeah, we're not with them, man. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Squad activities. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. You were a thug? Gangs must have hated you. <laughs> you were a thug? Uh, okay. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Okay, gangs must have hated you. Yeah, obviously. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together yeah, to take thank me you. down. <laughs> my manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. All right, well, that's good. Garrus's history. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. <laughs> How'd you get a group? That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Well, that's sad. <laughs> Um, okay, squad makeup. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. That's cool. I wish we had a Batarian on our crew. That would be fun. What happened to you? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Give me the rundown. Maybe he was a casualty. Have you found him? Yeah, give me the rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Well, that's sad. Maybe he was a casualty. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Have you found him? Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. 
Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Okay. Well, I'm not going to bother you anymore then. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Woo! We got a new cannon with a really long name. Alright, um... I think... I think we'll go and uh, feed fish. Really quick. Feed my fish! There you go, fish! Get food. Eat. Enjoy. Now we'll go back down here. I guess the next order of business is to chat with the elusive man, despite how much I might not want to. Uh, but I'm going to save that for next time. Uh, I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end here. Uh, next time we'll, we'll chat with elusive man, because apparently that's what he wants to do. And one cannot uh, ignore the elusive man, apparently. So, um, until then, I hope you enjoyed this set, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Mass Effect 2. Until then, goodbye everyone.